In this question, we will use properties of equilateral triangles. There are also problems involving isosceles triangles in this topic. Here we have to find the value of x. They have not told anything. The topic heading is of equilateral triangles, but they will they should tell you in the figure in the question. Otherwise, you can't just assume it. Now here you can see they have told all the three lines are equal. That means it's equilateral. Then all the angles must be 60 degrees. Otherwise, it cannot be equal to each other and it cannot be equilateral otherwise. So here, 60, 60, 60 makes it 180. That's equilateral triangle. So each side is 60 degrees. Now, we have 6x over here. That means 60 degrees is equal to 6x or 6x is equal to 60 degree. So let's divide both the sides by 6. You will get 60 by 6. That is 10. This is it. This is the answer. That's option C. Now, what about the next one? Here, we have to solve for the DE, the side length DE, and then DEF. DEF is this angle. They have not told anything else, but the figure is given to us. We need to use distance formula. I'll do it in distance formula, and then I'll teach you some other shortcuts as well. Another thing is, you, you don't have any other information, only this 90 degree. So um, let me first find the distance D and then I'll tell you what uh, else you can do, you know. So first let's find D, that'll help us. What is the coordinates here? We'll use distance formula to find it. 1, 2, 3, that is 3, comma. What is the height? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And what about this? It's on the axis, it's 0, that's x value, first is x. And next one, it is 6 over here, 7, 8, 9. And what about the formula? Which one to take as x1 and x2? Before that, I'll write the formula here. The square root of x2 plus x1, the whole square. Sorry, x2 minus x1. My bad, this is minus. And then you plus it with y-axis. x2 minus x1, the whole square, plus y2 minus y1, the whole square. This is the formula. Now you can consider this as x1, then this next one will be y1. You can consider this to be also x1, then this should be y1, but I've done x1 already. So I'll take this as x2, y2. You can interchange them. You can make this set x1, y, uh, x2, y2, this as x1, y1, answer will be the same. So here we just substitute x2 is 3 minus 0, the whole squared, plus y2 is 6 minus 9, the whole squared. It'll be... 3 squared, 3 squared, it is 9, 18, square root 18, but you can just use the calculator and we need the decimal point value itself. So here we go, I'll just put this entire thing, now it's blocking the view, but anyways, you can see the screen here, it's square root 3 minus, that is 3 minus 0, the whole squared plus 6 minus 9, whole squared, and the answer is, 3 root 2, it's 4.24. And now here we can just tell this is the answer. But sometimes what happens is the same option will be repeated. You will have two D values at least in the exam. So what about this? Now imagine this first option was also 4.24. This is 90 degree. Can another angle have 90 degree? It's not possible. So therefore we can tell DEF is 45 degrees. Or looking at the options, you can say it's it should be 45, not 90. But how to exactly find this angle? Now I have found this side. Now let us find the distance here and here. You will find that is also square root 18. You can do it. Why? Because the coordinates are 0 and 3. Isn't it? And now the distance over here is the same. Oh, there's one more better way. Now since this is like a symmetrical, it's in the center, draw a line here. Draw a straight line. And we will do Pythagoras theorem. That is, what is this distance? 1, 2, 3. This is 3. What is this? 1, 2, 3. It's at the point. Easily, we can find this hypotenuse. It's the sum of squares of the other two sides. It's 3 squared plus 3 squared. What about this one? 3 and again, this is 3. It is 3 squared plus 3 squared. That means these both the sides are same or equal. It's 4.24, 4.24. In such cases, then this is isosceles. And this is 6, the total length. It's not same. Whenever there are two legs that is equal, it's called isosceles triangle. So now isosceles triangle have their base angles, the leg angles, also equal. So if this is 90, these two must be 90 and they're equal, it should be 45 and 45 degrees. So therefore, those are the correct answers. 
So you can easily do it using Pythagoras theorem rather than the distance formula, whichever you're comfortable, you can select that. Now I'm going to use the Pythagoras theorem over here. So this is the center. So what is this distance? It's one, two, three, four, five, six. I didn't even read the question. I'm I know we are to find all the sides. Okay, it's to find all the sides. Let, let's do it now. This is six. And what about this? One, two, three, four. What will be this? It will be square root of 6 squared plus 4 squared. So that is 36 plus 16. You can just put in the calculator and get the exact value. Or over here, I'm just going to write 40, 52, square root 52. Now, what about this one here? This is same. What about 1, 2, 3, 4? Again, it's the same distance. So we are going to get this is square root 52, square root 52. That's the distance at this uh, long length is 8. You can just count linear, right? It's a straight line. You can just count them out. This is total 8. That is RT is 8. ST is square root 52. SR is square root 52. This angle is 56. That means this is isosceles triangle. So this also has to be 56. Now, you know two angles. We have to just find this. It is 180 degrees will be equal to total angle, right? 56 degrees plus 56 degrees plus x. So take it to the other side. It will be 180 degrees minus 112 degrees. That is x. So here we go. That will be 68 degrees. So that is the angle s. There are different ways to solve it. It's just electronic. No need of writing. You can just use a calculators and solve it directly. So here we go. Square root 52 is about 7.2 units. It's just more than 7 because square root 49 is 7 and it's a little more than that. And what about the angles? It's 68, 56 and 56. We just did this in the MCQ as a multiple choice and you can see here it is square root 18. This is wrong. It should be 3 root 2. Isn't it? Because 9, 9 is 3 root 2. So that is wrong. Uh, it is either 3 root 2 or root 18, which was 4.24, I believe. And then we found this was isosceles, so it has to be 45 and 45 degrees. What about this one? This is equilateral. Oh, no, wait a minute. Yes, it is an equilateral. Why? Because this is 60. We don't know these two angles, but they have told this, this side and this side is equal. So that means that's an isosceles over there, and these must be equal. But... We know this is already 60, so it has to be all 60s. Because see, x plus x, and we know 1 is 60. That must be equal to 180 degrees, isn't it? So it'll be 2x plus 60 is equal to 180 degrees. Or you can just take it over there. 2x is equal to 120 because 180 minus 60 is 120. x is 60. Uh, remember, three angles, these two angles must be equal. But 1 is 60, that means all are 60 because equilateral has to have 60, another thing. Now, the sides are equal right? because it's equilateral. Now, how we can find x is 3x plus 8 is equal to 4x minus 4. Now, we can solve it up. 8, 4 comes over here, plus 4 equals 4x minus 3x. 12 is equal to x. We can also do these equations directly in the calculator. I'll show you how. All you do is write this variable as x itself. Alpha and closing bracket symbol gives you x plus 8, the equal to is by alpha and calc, that gives you equal to 4x plus minus 4. So it's shift and solve. Now, wait a minute. If you press equal to, you will not get the answer because you have used the equation equal to. So you need to press shift and then solve this equation. This is not the answer. Press equal to now. This is the correct answer. Okay, this whatever when you press equal to first time, shift equal to, you'll get the previously stored answer. So now this is the correct answer. Now, say, for example, I'll just change this to plus 2. Shift and solve. This is not the correct answer. When I press equal to now, this is the correct answer. I hope that's clear. And here we go. What about this one? 3, 3. And there is 60. So now here, 3, 3, this has to be 60 and 60. And if it's 60, then all are 60. And that's it. Measure of angle B is 60. And AC is 3 because it's an equilateral triangle. Over here, as well, it's the same thing. We have to solve this. This is equal to 60. 6x six equals 60 is uh, giving you x is equal to 10. 
and what about this one see this is equal this is equal so basis must be equal we did a similar problem now one is 60 then this has to be 60 and 60 degrees and the side length would be 777 look this is electronic part you don't need to do any methods no need of writing just choosing the correct answer right look at this write it and choose the correct one here as well now here we know all the angles are equal then it has to be an equilateral because it's only 60 degree possibility so all of them are equal so each of them is 60 degrees here here and here but they have told this is 3x so 60 degrees is equal to 3x or divide both the sides by 3 that will give you 20 is equal to x so answer is 20 so that's it what about this one again we know it's an equilateral because all are same but they're not telling us to find the sides they're asking x value so x value is basically 4x equals 40 why because this all sides also are equal in an equilateral triangle so divide both the sides by 4 x will be equal to 10 that's it a real world problem i mean it's it seemed like what we just now did here they are told some tortilla chips can be modeled by a triangle. Solve for x. So now we have to solve x over here. So what is given to us? They have told this one and this one is equal. That means these two angles must be equal. But look carefully here. This and this angle is equal. So if this and this already is equal and then you know these both are equal. By transitive property this is also equal. It's all 60s. Because if three sides are equal, it has to be only 60 for each angle. And this is an equilateral. So now if this, this, then even this is equal because it's equilateral. 6x plus 3 is equal to 27. 6x is equal to 27 goes to the 3 goes to the other side will be 24. x is equal to 4. That's the answer. And they'll ask you to find the y as well. Just make this equal to each other. That means all the angles are equal. It's 2y. Oh, sorry. Don't make it equal to each other. See, now what happens if you make them equal to each other? They're literally the same. They cancel off. It's 0 is equal to 0. It's identity. Now you need to know what is the angle. You know, 2y plus 4 is equal to 60 degrees. So now we can solve it. 2y is equal to 4 to the other side minus 4. So it'll be 56 degrees. And y is equal to 25 and 20. 20, uh, 28 sorry this is 28 y is equal to 28 value that's how we solve this one and what about this here see one angle is 60 degrees and they have told these both are equal so if this is 60 then this has to be 60 if two are 60 then third one has to be 60 degrees so let's find for x now they all sides will be equal because it's equilateral 4x plus 2 is equal to 3x plus 9. That's you can directly use calculator to solve as well. Here now 4x minus 3x is equal to 9 minus 2. X is equal to 7. And what about the angles? Angle at 60 degree will be equal to 4y. So divide both the sides by 4. You are going to get 4, 10, 15. 15 is equal to y. That's the answer. So x was 7 and y is 15. That is the end of this question. I hope it is clear. If you have any doubts, please consider re-watching the video or posting your doubts in the comments. I hope you all will head on to the next video.